Alright guys, just got done adjusting the gimbal tension on my throttle. It's all a little loose for my liking, but not bad, except for the throttle I couldn't deal with. Everything else is good. But also, the sticks were too small. I'm a, thumb, I'm a pincher. It's, you can tell it's perfectly designed for a thumber. But the sticks were so tall and so loose that I was really struggling with it. So all I did was take out this spacer. When you take out the spacer, it does allow the top to go down farther. So it shortens up your sticks quite a bit. It makes it much more comfortable for pinching. Then, to adjust the throttle tension is very easy. It's this standard bar here. All you do is tighten this top screw and that tightens the throttle tension. If you want to try to adjust your yaw or other tensions on your spring-loaded ones, this is your screw right here. It's this screw right here. So if you can get up close in there. These are the four that hold the gimbal stick. This is the spring loader for your yaw. You have two of those on this side because it's for yaw and pitch. But anyway, the trick that I was told from Underground FPV is to put a longer screw in here. But I didn't have one because I think it's an M1.5 maybe, maybe M2, but it's like a wood screw. So I... Uh, um, just left it, backed it out just a little bit because if you push it down it makes the spring closer and looser if you pull it up it makes it tighter so it's not infinitely adjustable but that is adjustable I had an issue where if you can see this spring down here we'll go forward on the stick see that spring I moved the stick just like that and it pulled this plastic piece out when I had the screw out so the spring came off so I'll send some pics but I had to take the whole gimbal stick out so this panel this panel this panel off if you're going to have to do that, these screws are in very tight and very small. I stripped that one. So I removed the other three and I used heat and bent this up out of the way and then put it back in. So if you don't take the spring off, it's pretty easy. Just put a slightly longer screw in there and tighten that. And you can do that on all of your spring tensioner areas. There's uh, two right here, I think. No, one right here and one right here. You can raise up these mounts with a longer screw. And then one right here. But all I did after my screw up was just tighten that and leave that backed off a little. And it feels much more like my Tyrannus. But the shorter st gimbal sticks was huge too. So now I'm going to assemble it. I'll send some pictures in the video. If you have any questions, just contact me because I know this stuff is kind of hard to follow along on video by hand. When you do take it apart, there's 10 screws. I have a picture with them highlighted red that shows you. You have this ribbon cable. It comes off of right here, up the mine, and then this here is the UFL for the antenna. That just snaps off when you pull it apart and it goes right here. So you'll have these two connections to the back, then there's 10 screws, you'll find them. One, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two small ones down here. They're all M1.5 down here in these are M2.5s. So it's those 10 screws, these two plugs, there's your throttle tightener, and there's the screw that you put a longer one in or back it out if you can to add some tension. So I didn't really see much difference on that, but that was fine. The throttle movement is what I really wanted, and it made a huge difference. When you're reassembling, make sure that you get your UFL and your ribbon cable attached. I'll attach pictures where you can see better. Then you need to slide this little ledge into the battery bottom first on both sides. The ergonomics of the Nirvana is amazing for a thumber, but myself being a pincher, coming from my regular radios, the Evo and the Tyrannus, um, the gimbal sticks were too tall for me and the throttle was too loose compared to this what I'm used to here. The rest of it was a little looser than the Tyrannus, but that's okay, it's not bad. But um, I had to tighten my throttle, so I tightened up the throttle. I showed you guys all that in the video. But the most important thing I noticed was removing this spacer. The stick is too tall for pinching. If you want to be a pincher, remove this spacer. It allows the top to go down much farther and makes the sticks much shorter, which is much more comfortable for pitching, pinching. Also, I've never used the neck strap, and this neck strap is pretty killer, but it blocks your boot button and it blocks your SD card. It also blocks the most perfect spot to put a crossfire battery. 
crossfire battery just sits right there on some velcro it's perfect so I won't be using that so I absolutely love this radio so far but to get it to my style I had to remove three little parts and tighten up some springs and now it feels like home again so we'll do some more testing tomorrow but just some quick mods for uh, being a pincher on the Nirvana let's check out this screen with the updated firmware yeah Welcome baby to our channel. 